Hi everyone, it's Shar and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I have done some book shopping and I knew that I wanted to pick up some books uh, just for this season. I'm going to have a lot of free time for the next couple of months. More specifically, I want to pick up some books to read for the remainder of this month and for the month of November. So very cozy, autumnal kind of witchy books is what I went with. I want this vlog to be super cozy so I have my squish here in my lap and I have my Duncan here as well. So without further ado, I am going to tell you about some of the books that I picked up for this spooky season. So the first book that I picked up is The Kiss Curse by Erin Sterling. Now this book has a story. A few weeks ago, I went thrift shopping because I was looking for some autumnal clothing. I wanted to get some secondhand. By the way, thrift shopping is always hard as a plus size person, but I did find some things, including this book for $3 at Housing Works, The X Hex. Now, when I was in Barnes & Noble yesterday, I saw that they had The Kiss Curse. And I picked this up because I heard that people actually enjoy this book a lot more than they enjoy The X Hex. By the way, yes, I've lost a nail. I can't find the nail kit, so ignore that. I'll replace it since I can find it. So this book follows two characters, Gwen and Wells. Gwen is settling in well into her life into the sound. She just opened like this store, I think, and she's helping train young witches. And Well moves back to town to kind of settle in, and he opens up a rival shop across the street. That's all I know about this book, but I picked it up for like these small town, cozy, magical feelings. So that is the first book that I picked up from Barnes & Noble. On to the next one. I have been seeing this book everywhere. So of course when I saw it at Barnes & Noble, which was such a good haul, literally all the books that I wanted were there, which is great because that's not always the case. Okay, this is so cute. This follows Mika. Mika is a witch, but all of her life she has had to hide her magic. So she lives a very normal, simple life in her daytime, but she also posts a video where she pretends to be a witch. She assumes that no one's gonna take her seriously until someone who's in on magic is like, y'all please come to this house, it's called Nowhere House. We have three young witches here and they need training. So Mika goes and our main love interest here is a librarian at Nowhere House. They don't really get along, but it's a romance. So I know that they fall in love. And does that not sound like the coziest thing ever? which moves to town in the middle of nowhere to kind of nanny and help train three young witches and she falls in love with the librarian come on that sounds so cozy and i'm so excited to read this literally i'm gonna have so much free time that i will be reading so many books this month so i'll look forward to the october wrap-up let's stick with like paranormal uh romance i picked up a lot of romance because i'm in my romance era again we love that for me so this book is a ghost in shining Arms armor and this dude he's a ghost <laughs> so this is a story about Gemma so this story is about Gemma and Gemma's kind of a medium of sorts she's always had the ability to see ghosts and for her she feels like it's her mission to help ghosts settle their unfinished business and move on to the afterlife her love interest name is Levi and Levi has died unexpectedly okay I'm confused he has a second chance at life, but only if he's able to help Gemma reunite with her long lost sibling. For some reason, he has a physical form, I think, because they fake date. So I don't know. <laughs> it sounds chaotic. I've read the first couple of pages and it is so funny. And come on, you can't tell me you don't want to read a romance about a woman who falls in love with a ghost. So I am super excited to read this. Again, I'm going to read this pretty soon. And I saw this on Instagram and I was just like, yep. That is a book for me. For our last romance book, I have Love in the Time of Serial Killers. I've been seeing this all over Instagram and all over YouTube. Let me tell you what this book is about, aside from its very beautiful cover. Like I love the book within a book. This follows Phoebe Walsh, who is a PhD candidate. She has moved into this home while she's writing her dissertation and she has a neighbor named Sam. Now Phoebe is obsessed with true crime, absolutely loves true crime, uh, and that fills her with 
with some paranoia. So she comes to believe that her neighbor Sam is a serial killer. But as time goes on, she realizes that maybe Sam is just a nice guy. So that is the basic premise of what I know about this story. I really love the cover and the title and I like the idea of, I guess, Phoebe thinking that he's a serial killer. If this was a dark romance, maybe he actually would be a serial killer, but it's not a dark romance. So I'll let you know my thoughts. So I'm curious to see what my thoughts will be about Phoebe. Let's take a sip of some coffee while we wait for this ambulance to pass. Then I have Mexican Gothic. You can see the 50% off sticker here. It was to buy one, get one 50% at Barnes and Noble. So one of the books I picked up as part of that was Mexican Gothic. Now this is a Gothic horror. And if you didn't see my last video where I recommended like some of my favorite thriller and horror and mystery books. I absolutely love gothic horror. I am a huge fan of beautiful writing and in-depth character studies. Uh, Mexican Gothic is a book that I have heard a lot about, but for me, when I really anticipate a book, it makes me not want to read it right away just because I'm like, I'm gonna love it so much. I don't want to read it. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how my brain works. So I've decided to pick this book up and to read it this month because I think it's gonna be right up my street. Let me tell you what this book is about, just in case you don't know. So this follows Noemi. She receives a letter from her cousin. And her cousin is like, yo, there's some weird shit going on. Her cousin just got married. And Noemi's father is like, go to the house and figure out what the hell is happening. So Noemi is just trying to figure out what's going on in this house. I know that Sylvia Moreno Garcia covers some really important topics in this book. And I am super excited to read it, especially since it's set in 1950s Mexico. So this is a book that I'll be reading at the end of this month. I think I'm going to have this be the book that I read for Halloween. And of course, it was a buy one, get one 50% off sale on these books. So the second book that I picked up was the final revival of Opal and Lev. This follows Opal, who is a punk artist in the 1970s and the 70s in New York City. And one day, a British singer songwriter is like, we should make music. His name is Nev. They become super famous and make some great music, but in the 70s, a rival band of theirs brandishes a Confederate flag and Opal protests that. And it causes this huge chain of events that were really integral to history. Decades later, we are with Sunny, who is a journalist wanting to interview her idols. This was a really integral moment in history with Opal and Nev, and she wants to learn more about this chapter of their life and their story as a band um, and their protests that they did against this band who were brandishing a Confederate flag. So this sounds super fascinating. I've heard that it's absolutely stunning. I've also heard that the audiobook is really amazing and I'm excited to read this. But I love the idea about reading about a famous band who had such an integral moment in history and learning more about that in this fictional world. And that's it. That's everything that I picked up at Barnes and Noble yesterday. And these are some of the books that I'll be prioritizing for the remainder of this month and next month. I already feel like I'm going to love all of them for the obvious reason that I don't purchase books that I don't think that I'm going to love. So I'm super excited to read all of these books and just to dive into all of their individual worlds. I hope that you enjoyed this video and this introduced you to some books that you may want to pick up. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did like the video. Let me know if you're going to pick up any of these books or if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And if you aren't already, please do make sure to subscribe. It just really supports my channel. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye!